Our ninth speaker this afternoon is Pratiti Mandal. Her title, Investigation and Mitigation of Degradation of Fuel Cells. Almost all of us have heard and talked about the cool Tesla cars, the one shown here. So the coolest thing about them is not just how they look, but the fact that they run, they run on batteries, the same batteries that you use in your cell phones and laptops. Fuel cells mentioned in my thesis are also closely related to batteries. Like batteries, they convert chemical energy to electrical energy, with the exception that fuel cell uses hydrogen as a fuel, which combines with oxygen from air to produce electricity, with water as the only byproduct. These fuel cells, when used in cars, not only give us uh, zero emission vehicles, but at the same time, they give us longer range and fast refueling, unlike battery electric vehicles. The Toyota Mirai, shown here, is one such example of fuel cell car available in the market. Now you can ask me, why don't I see these cars on Pittsburgh Road? Well, to answer that, let me share a bad news. Besides the lack of hydrogen refueling stations, these systems are still very expensive, and there is a question on its durability. In my thesis, I investigate one such degradation phenomena that limits the durability of fuel cell. The main culprit in the story is the so-called benign byproduct, water. When water accumulates in the, uh, when water is not properly removed from the system, it can accumulate in the pores of the electrode and it blocks the hydrogen from reaching the reaction sites. This condition is called starvation. It usually arises during high power demand. Say you are speeding to pass another car on the highway, for example. In such a situation, to fight starvation, the cell starts consuming itself. And in no time, it burns itself out, and the car can come to a dead stop right on the highway. You can all imagine how dangerous that can be. We need a solution for this. And the good news is that we have found it. We thought of using the culprit water to our own advantage. So we added iridium oxide to the electrode that can catalyze water splitting to support the power demand during fuel starvation, and in the process, protect the cell from cell consumption. However, addition of material like, uh, which uses precious metal like iridium increases the cost of fuel cell. So my continued research is towards minimizing the amount of extra catalyst used without sacrificing its effectiveness thus to make fuel cells more durable, at the same time, very economical. We live in an era where energy crisis and climate change are the most harrowing nightmares. I believe that my research is a small step towards sustainable future. Thank you.